Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel and before we start this video, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy the channel, subscribe now, go down the bottom corner, hit the bell icon, set it to all and you'll always be reminded every time I make an upload. Also, if you do enjoy this video, give it a like. It helps the channel, helps the growth of uh, the video and more people to get to see the content, so please do that. Right, we're starting a brand new plot today. Um, this is a pair of bungalows. This is the setting out drawing I'm going to show you. Getting behind the camera so as you can see this. This is what we've got. I'm going to start on this side from this corner and chase my bond all the way around. Um, there's two split levels and I can show you on the drawing as well uh, that this will be shown here. Right, that is how the two bungalows look. You can see it's on two splits so there are a pair of semis uh, nice and easy 900 height for your sills at the front so that means i need to leave them 750 down before i start the sill bricks because they're 150 high uh, also also uh, we have little pillars coming out for the front door for a canopy side view is just a small window which is 1050 high so we need to leave that down. 225 for the soldier courses uh, there's a gas and electric box to the side soldiers there that's your canopy porch coming out on the front and um, that's about it so this is a really really <coughs> really really simple build we have come across a few little discrepancies uh, on the other, uh, one of the plots so now we're going to have to make sure we gauge everything around uh, just to make sure that everything is what it says it is. For this, DeWalt 30 meter tape. Can't go wrong. I'm going to check the overall dimensions of every, of, uh, of every side to make sure that it's within where it's meant to be. Now this side here is meant to be 10 meters and three. I'll just quickly run this across to see what we're like just on the first one, 10 meters and three. I haven't checked any of this yet. So this is my first time having a look. <coughs> All right. So that has given me 10 meters and 15. 12 mil big, which really does help actually. Um, the bigger the plots, the better because what you'll find is when you're doing your windows and your door openings, uh, the formers are between six and eight mil big at least. So that gives me a little bit, a little, tiny little bit of play. I know with that now, I've got a good 10 mil. These bricks are pretty good coordinating size. Um, they're not bad at all. 215, dead on. So they're a good size. I know that everything's gonna fit on that dimension. So that side, I'm pretty happy with. Coming along the front, we've got, um, well, it's meant to be 2138 to the start of my pier. I'll just go off camera a second, 2138. If it's bigger, then we're good. 2138. Two, one, four, five. So that's bigger again. That's me a little bit of play for the formers. I'm glad they've done it like that. Right, if you want to make, if you want to make real money when you're building these plots, there's only one way to do it. And that is to start off with profiles <coughs> and get yourself sorted out early doors. So what I'm going to do now, I've checked for plumb. They're a little tiny, little, little tiny bit leaning. I'm only going to attach my profile to the second brick down. So I'm going to notch out for a half there, notch out for a half there using my chisel. Uh, my chisel's in the box over there. Uh, just a plug-in chisel. So I'll use my, same as I did up on the top. Plug-in chisel there, plug-in chisel. Set my two profiles. Because it's stepped, we're going to pin into this line. I'll show you down there. See how it's already built up so high? We're going to pull this right the way through over these 
and that's where it stepped up onto the next bungalow. Now, because it's stepped, because it's stepped, there's, it's crucial that you start from the bottom. You always start from the bottom and work your way up to the top because you don't know what the gauge is gonna be like on this. Um, you're gonna to have to pull off this. I'm gonna double check the gauge on this as well to make sure that one, two, three, four, five, six, it should be 450 the gauge there, hopefully. And then I can set up a profile right on that other end, pull through, and we're just gonna use a nail in each one of these ends. So I'll, I'll just pin a little nail in rather than using a pin, a little nail into each joint and run a line straight off that and do the same for the other side. <clears throat> the bond is going that way regardless. So what you'd usually do is chase it all the way around one way, which I could do probably. I may chase it from this corner here, build up to my first window reveal, and then I'm gonna chase it all the way around, get to the top corner. I'm gonna chase this up that way as well. So. I'm going to set up now and I'll get back to you when we're doing a little bit of brick lane. We're going to cut all those damps, get those damps rolled out and sort stuff out. And the most important job before you start anything is to make sure you've got all your bricks loaded out. Like this. That's exactly how you want it. Once me and Ozzy get a start and I'm laying, you can always drop inside and start loading some of these blocks out. But for now, this is all I want, so I'll, I'll be laying, he'll be spreading. Gonna start him getting onto the spreading a bit more. Uh, and he's already mastered the jointing now, pretty much. So he is picking up new skills all the time. And because we had uh, the Silbrex here for this new plot, what we were on the other day, this is what we do with the sills. Flick some damp on, tack it just to your former and protect your sills from mortar snots that come down and that's how you want it all the way around oh he would kick in that generator just as i turn the video on once he anyway this is the setup so there you've got your profile set up now i've done them nice and short actually changed my mind i'm running them long so one two three four profiles we've got the trays set up with weeps on each tray they are over each air vent this is to stop the aim is, this will go in there like that. Someone said explains the importance of trays. So these two weep vents will go onto the tray. This tray will then lap up onto the block work in the inside. Any water that comes down the cavity or moisture will go down, out the sides, and then out of these weep vents. That is what they're for. Now, when you see these programs where they've got fake weep vents, on YouTube, uh, all they've done is cut the end off and stuck it in just so as to make sure that it looks like there's weak vents. That's why they're no good because then the moisture's got nowhere to go and that's even if they put the tray in. So, four inch damp first, tray on top, put two vents on each tray, then you're not gonna forget to put them in everywhere. Um, that's the best setup then Spots are set up, ready to go. We've put a tub of mortar at the end, middle, and this side, and they can just be shoveled straight on. That is the quickest setup. So now, without further ado, I'm gonna start laying, start getting everything taped out. And for anyone who wants to know, this is how they do the insulation. It gets pumped in through these pipes, straight into the cavities. So out of that big machine there, and then straight in, let's see where it's being pumped. There we go. They drill these holes and they pump it right in through there. See them dotted around everywhere. It goes straight in. You can see it if you get very close. You can see it going through. That's it. Hi, mate. Hi. Right. We're back in the room. It's now dinner time. We've done 12 courses on there, everything's running. You can see we've put the meter box, well, cut out for the meter boxes here, ready. And we've got a lentil there, right in front of you, just for go on top of there in two courses time. This is the setting out for the side window, three bricks wide. 
Uh, we've got two more courses of brick up the side, then that's going to be a blue soldier, blue brick, this way up, soldier way. So we need nine of them after the break. Uh, and inside we've flushed everything up, it's all flushed up, joints are full. When we go for dinner, we make sure all the spots are clear before we go for dinner. If you come back after dinner, your mortar will be rock hard and you've just wasted it and you'll spend more time getting the rock hard mortar off your spots and into the skip than you will, saving your wet stuff and then pouring it back on. So now we're nice and clear, ready for dinner. Uh, there's a lot going on today. You've got lads down there uh, doing the 14s. Uh, another gang just spoke to them. They said they've been watching the video. So shout out to that gang down there if they're interested. We've got piling rig there in front of us doing these plots. You can see all the piles sticking out in the air. He's going to be hitting that hard. Down in the bottom corner, we've got another 14s gang. Don't know if you can see them from there, can you? Right down the bottom. Oh, yeah. They're finishing some boundary walls, retaining walls around the corner. We've got scaffolders up on this end drop where we've been yesterday. They are just finishing the scaffold, uh, ready for trusses. I believe they'll probably be tomorrow or next week. And we've got insulation going into the middle plot. Plot three, that's been done. And on the show home, they are skimming. So it's all hands to deck. Uh, of the, when the scaffolders are done up there, hopefully they'll be jumping straight back onto that top corner plot. And when they do, we'll move off it. In fact, we're like, yeah, we'll probably move off a year straight back up to there as soon as that's ready. But I can't see that being ready till Monday at least. So let's go have some dinner. It's 12 o'clock. Right, we're having a race. Sol's just shouted up to me. Right, that is it for today. There's the front. Get up the side in. We've done it to 18 courses because it's been absolutely blistering. Left it at that because there is like five. Yeah, five courses under build under there. It's like too high, so we left it at that. Um, and it's sweltering. We've got a few bricks to clean up in the morning. But we've moved all this gear up to the top and we're going to do the same as we've done here. Uh, what's that? 18 courses by about, call it average 55 long. So you work out the math. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci. Now go get a couple of beers in you.